Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about common mistakes that people often make when giving their Pomerinda bath and then show you how to actually do it. First common mistake that I see a lot of people and even professional groomers make is cleaning their dog's ears using shampoo. And it's actually not recommended to let water and shampoo enter the ear canals since it can lead to infection. So ideally, you should clean their ears using cotton balls and a dog ear cleanser solution before giving your palm a bath because the smell of this solution can be a bit strong and unpleasant. And it can also make the fur out the ear kind of oily and sticky so it's best to do it before so that the scent can sort of wear off a little bit with the bath and then also give you a chance to fluff up the fur of the ears with the blow dry and brushing so they won't go around with those sticky and oily and smelly fur for the next few days or so so what i usually do is i gently pull the ear flap upwards away from the head with my fingers and then fill the ear canal with a solution after that i give the ear a little bit of massage in circular motion for around 60 seconds or so around the base of the ear this will help loosen and then break up any dirt and debris at the bottom of the ear canal and moving it up to the outside part of the ear for easier remover. Then I let go of my hand and let my dog shake the remaining liquid out of his ears and then take my thumb to gently push down, twist around to wipe away any visible ear wax, debris and excess solution with a dry cotton ball. And depending on how dirty your dog's ears are, you might want to continue to put a few more cotton balls down and remove some of that wax until the last cotton ball comes out clean and then move on to the other side and repeat the same process. Please don't use Q-tips to clean your dog's ears. You don't want to risk damaging the eardrums. The second mistake that I often see dog owners make is getting the dog shampoo all over the dog's face, which is also not recommended for two reasons. First, the dog might lick and digest the soap, and second, it can get in your dog's eyes. And if you ever gotten soap in your eyes, you probably know how irritating it can be, right? The same thing can happen to your dog, and getting shampoo in their eyes can cause irritation, swallowing, discomfort, which increase their tendency to rub their eyes to try to, you know, get rid of this irritating feeling which can potentially lead to eye infection. I strongly recommend using a moistened cotton pad or a dark tear stain wipe to wipe the area around the eyes to loosen and remove the dirt and the discoloration. Okay, so let's talk about how to give them a bath. First, I use a portable heater and put it inside the bathroom to preheat the room. This is to make sure that the air temperature in the bathing area stay warm to ensure their comfort. And then go grab the towel and put it right next to the bathtub. I used to use this pair of shampoo and conditioner for my Pomeranian before I found out about this two-in-one shampoo. So I've switched to using it because it's just less time consuming and more efficient. I'm not using it today because my dog is having superficial pyoderma, which is basically some skin allergy. So my vet dermatologist recommended me to use this shampoo with some active ingredients instead to treat and prevent skin allergies. And it's been working really well. So first I start running the water in my hand to test the temperature to make sure the water is lukewarm. Once I feel like the water temperature is right, I start wetting the entire body from the neck down to prevent getting water in the ears. I usually prefer to use a handheld shower head so that I have a better control of where the water goes to avoid getting the water in the ears. And it also helps you to properly rinse off your Pomeranian since unrinsed shampoo may cause irritation to the skin. Or if you don't have it, you can also use a bowl that looks like something I'm using now to scoop the water to wet their body. I also like to put some water inside a bowl and set aside so I can splash more water to their body as needed to make it more soapy and easier to lather the shampoo around. So I will start applying shampoo to their coat and gently lathering the shampoo. Remember to scrub deeply into their coat and get to their skin with your fingers. If you are using a medicated shampoo like I do to treat a skin problem, I recommend starting at their problem area first, gently massaging the shampoo onto the problem area to give the shampoo slightly more time to stay on the area, and then proceed to lather the rest of their body. Take your time to work the shampoo into a gentle lather and massage it all over your dog's body. Don't forget areas such as the underarms, the belly, the paws, and also remember to pay attention to the area under the tail around their bum. This area is often left unattended by dog owners, but it's actually very important as Pomeranian tends to have a messy butt since they have a long and thick double coat. If you feel like you're struggling to lather the shampoo around their body, which could very likely be the case for shampoo with organic and natural ingredients, feel free to add more shampoo as well as splash some more water as you go so it can lather better. Finally, it's time to rinse off the coat. Be sure to rinse the entire body thoroughly to make sure there's no shampoo residual as it might cause irritation to the skin. Also, very important thing when rinsing off the Pomeranian, don't forget to lift the tail up with your hand and then thoroughly scrub and rinse their butt using the high pressure water from the handheld shower head to get rid of any poop sticking to their fur in their bottom since poop butt is a very common thing in Pomeranian. After the bath is done, I then use a towel to gently rub around my palm, bring him to a chair and I usually give them plenty of opportunities to shake themselves off. This 
This helps to get rid of any water that might have accidentally got into the ears, dry the coat, and also remove any dirt or debris that might have been left behind during the washing process. And then towel dry him as best as I can. Take your time with it, as towel drying your palm probably will help cutting down the time it takes to blow dry them. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I'm going to do another separate video to show you how to properly blow dry and brush your Pomeranian after giving them a bath. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the second part.